Right, I've been given this uh, quadcopter to have a look at. There's a fault. Um, basically, he's changed the motors and speed controllers and it no longer works. I shall uh, demonstrate. I've linked it to the clean flight configurator. I'm going to enable motor control and turn the motor. So we've got one motor spinning and the rest pulsating. Right, what I found is that the, the motor uh, are not insulated, they were clamped down around to the carbon fiber. Um, as you can see, there's another one there. This one was, uh, this appeared to be taped up. Didn't seem to be a major issue there. And I sh shrunk wrapped that one to see if it was sh shrink tubing. So, yeah, so, so far, when I spin the motors up, if I... That motor spinning because I've set it up to make sure that the electronics is right. The rest are tweaking, only one is spinning. The others are twitching and so the question is now has the shorts created a problem? Because this one works, or it, are there other issues that are not yet evident? I'm looking for shorts on the carbon fiber, such as under there. So I think I'm gonna have to lift all the ESCs and check them. All right, what I've done is I put some uh, plugs on, and I've connected this now to my remote ESC. So I'm gonna try these now and see if if that motor will actually spin because it wasn't previously spinning so if I connect the knees enable motor test and so interestingly that motor does not spin on a previously working a previously working um, ESC so if I plug on my motor here, there you go. So it's a simple motor swap. And I just hold the motor and run it. So the fault lies actually with the motors. So I've had a look to see if the screws were penetrating the uh, the windings, but they didn't appear to be. So I'm gonna have a closer inspection of this particular motor. Because if I swap it back, and I put this motor back on. And all I've done is swap the motor. motor's not working oh right next phase have a look and see what the motor what's going on detach the motor off the carbon frame see if there's any uh, crossover there right as i said i checked the motor screws and they were nice and short um but however on close inspection inside i can see that at some point there were longer screws in there and that have damaged the coils so unfortunately these motors are actually been ruined by those screws so yeah the person that done this have basically destroyed um three of the four motors and i would be very suspicious of the four uh as a result of uh of over tightening uh, long the screws being too long for the frame 
and actually damage the windings. I'll see if I can get a close up now with the uh, with the eye. Right, looking close up, if you look carefully into the gap, you can see where all the wires are damaged. So that's an expensive mistake. And uh, yeah, all right. I've opened the motor, and you can see that the windings have been pushed up. You can see that one is is pushed up quite high, and it's basically where the where the screws are. There's the hole. There's the winding being pushed up. So you can see that that uh, where the where the holes are, the actual windings are being pushed up where they've been clamped in. So I'm not doing it anymore. Um, it's a known problem and it should have been uh, looked for, but I was told no, they use the short screws. So that's it. Um, basically, going to put it in a bag and give it back.